Hi guys, welcome to this hair vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys know how much I love hair days. Yeah, but this is the first time I actually don't really know what I'm gonna do. I definitely am not gonna be like super uh, like blonde. I'm probably gonna go like darker brown because like darker hair just seems to be like more in. So I just don't wanna be like, you know, having super like bright blonde or anything like that, like highlights at least. Like I just don't wanna do that. I wanna be more subtle with my look uh, today, but I definitely know I'm gonna get like the long face framing pieces and like curtain bangs, but like to my ear or whatever. I don't know. I have this like thing that I'm gonna show my hair stylist and she can probably definitely do it because she's really good at like everything, honestly. Also too, I did so good on my brows today. You know it's gonna be a good day because I didn't struggle because I struggle all the time. I was thinking if I ever like get a date or like go out with a guy, I need to have a good eyebrow day because if it's not, then I'm just no, it's gonna be like the struggle and I'm gonna feel like, oh God, I look like a clown. But now today is like, okay, need to have good eyebrow day and it sets the day up for success. I don't fully know what we're gonna do, but I know whatever it is, it's gonna be like super cool and it's gonna look amazing because she always does such an amazing job. Um, I'm always so impressed, even though the price tag's kind of, <laughs> I don't know. Guys, like this is where I spend like all my money. Let's just be real because I love my hair. Hair is something that I like pride myself on because I don't know, I've always loved hair. Like if you guys know me, I even did like bleaching my hair blonde. Um, I made videos like doing my own hair, cutting my hair, like, yeah, don't ever let me do that again. Cause like I was filled with regret after that. I told my hairstylist, if I ever come to you and I'm like, I wanna cut my hair, don't let me because I will regret it. And I did regret it. So when I cut it myself, even though I did a pretty good job, like considering I have no hair training and like I dyed my hair alone and then I cut my hair alone. I mean, I did a pretty good job for like someone with no training, <laughs> but yeah, I had like major regret after that. So can't be doing that. I'm still really impressed with this liquid bronzer. It's so nice. Also too, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is like pretty long. It's getting to the point of too long. And yes, I have a like a requirement. Well, not a requirement, but like I just have, I just have standards for hair. Like if it's, if for my hair, like if it gets to be like a certain length, it gets to be too long. I like, I don't want, you know, my hair to be like longer than it is now because it's just too hard to manage for me. I've always loved long hair, like on other people and stuff, like super, super long hair, but I can't like manage it and stuff. And it gets to the point where I get so annoyed that I want to chop it off and I can't be doing that because then, like I said earlier, I regret it. And then I'm like sad and I have to wait like a super long time for my hair to like come back. So we'll not be doing that. So that's why I'm definitely getting it trimmed up today. I always like getting my makeup done before my hair because then I like to have like a photo shoot after. Okay, so I'm on my way now. I am going to get Starbucks, obviously. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the venti because I'm gonna be there for a while and why not? Um, I love my coffee, so yeah, I've decided. It's gonna be the venti day and um, I actually brought a tote bag because sometimes I get cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna be like cold or not. So I brought a jacket just in case. So the hair does cost a lot of money, but I kind of justify it because I don't get my nails done. I don't get like my brows done anymore. I don't really like get massages. I don't get like filler or Botox. Like, I don't know the upkeep of like maintenance of myself and like appearance. Well, okay. If I could, I would get my nails done every month. Like I used to do, but I can't do that for work because well, number one, you're not really supposed to. And even though the people do do that sometimes they're like super cracking down on fingernail polish and like fake nails because of like surgical side infections. So I can't, I mean, I wouldn't do that to begin with, but even if like I could get away with it, I couldn't really like get away with it. So yeah, I mean, when it comes to like maintenance and stuff of looks and aesthetics, and I don't really like get a lot of makeup either. So I kind of justify putting like all of my money into my hair and 
that's how I get away with it for not feeling like that guilty. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I feel the need to explain this, but I just do because it's definitely not a necessity. It just like makes me feel confident and it's something that I like, you know, just like luxury bags. Like occasionally I'll get a luxury bag because I like it, you know. Also too, I'm not probably going to do a lot of like time lapses and stuff because if I'm being honest, I hate time lapses because I just skip through those parts. Chit chatty clips, rambling, and showing like the before and after. So if you don't like that for hair vlogs, sorry, but I'm not gonna like just set up the camera and like have her, you know, be fast forwarded and doing my hair, like putting the foils in for like a clip. Okay, so I got the coffee, this big bad boy, and then I got a straw because, okay, in reality, I like sipping it like, you know, just from the cup. But when I'm getting my hair done, I always forget that I can't like move my head a lot when she's like putting in the foils. So I got a straw and I'm like, you know what? It'll just like be here and I could just like sip. For now, I'm not gonna use the straw, but you know, when time comes that I need the straw, I have the straw. Just tell me, you could be the director yeah. with whatever. Oh God, Filming the so consultation. Close. No, I, oh shoot, I forgot my tripod. Well, you have one, so yeah, that's I was good. Say. I already filmed like a little TikTok. Did you? Before and after the take my picture oh, one. Yeah. yeah. We're recording the consultation. I just wanted to. <laughs> oh, gotta clean, gotta clean the, gotta clean the lens. The lens. Yes, okay. I told, I told my my viewers like you're not gonna get a time lapse because I don't even like watching time lapse. I know. Myself. I feel like, like I skip through them now. Me too. Okay, I'm like, not the just, only one. <laughs> I was actually watching videos, um, like because I've been planning a lot of my content out for the next couple of weeks. Oh, cool. I literally cannot see anything. Like I'm seeing my face in the mirror. It looks okay. good, and then with the background, with the yeah, we're rolling. Okay. Okay. I'm just kidding. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what are we thinking? I'm thinking a little bit darker. I want to tone it down. On social media, I just see a lot more brunettes. Dark is in style. And I just want it to be still have um, lightning components, but not so in your face. Okay. Um, more around the face, like this yeah. photo. Okay. Um, just because being having the lightness is me, and I yeah. still want to be me, but I also obviously want to be what's in style. Yeah, for sure. So. And I feel like last time we did your hair, it was actually a little bit darker than we normally would go. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You still kept it cool, but it was not as bright. I think it was a little bit more beige too, it was, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the picture. I'll show you. I think I saved it because this is the inspo from last time. Okay. Oh this. Gosh. Yes. That's that right, was kind of right. like what we were going for. Okay. And then that, but now we're kind of like going, and then this is, well, yeah, it was a very more muted because that's yeah. my hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now it's even a little bit more toned down, but still has that, um, highlight okay. lightning when was the last time we did your hair it was a little over six months ago yeah it looks really good still i know i'm just thinking okay so um she has definitely brightness around her face but i wouldn't really consider it like a money piece yeah would you agree yeah um like it looks like it starts Almost. like very soft yeah there but it there's more brightness around the ends of, yeah around her face if that mm -hmm. makes sense yeah um, are you okay with that? I'm okay with that because okay. I've never been a really big fan of uh, actual like a money, money piece. piece. When I had my hair done at um, another place, I was honestly nervous about the money piece and I told the girl like, please don't make it too money piece. Too chunky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also too, like for the cut, I was yeah. thinking, I sent you this a little bit ago. Yeah, I just, I want, oh, okay. So, um, the long layers, face frame, curtain bangs to the chin, because I gotta have it, the last time I had um, the curtain bangs, I loved them, but having it not being able to be around the ear, it drove okay. me insane. 
Okay. Like I couldn't stand it almost. Yeah. So, and then lots of like movement. Okay. So these like photos are like good inspiration. And then obviously like she kind of also touched on it too. Like yeah. long layers, but not too layery. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, in that video that you sent to, she was talking mm -hmm. about like the face frame without the layers throughout. Right. Um, what do you think about that? I, I do that for a lot of my clients, to be honest. Okay. If they feel like fine or they want to be like really full at the ends. Yeah. Um, to just like do the layering around the face. Yeah. I'm trying to think if we've done that for you even. We may have. We might have, honestly. Just to preserve as much like fullness in the back. Mm -hmm. um, but still giving you like the movement around the face. Because right. you do, like she said in the video, she has a lot of hair, but she yeah. doesn't want to lose the fullness of it. And that's what, yeah, because I don't have extensions. Like yeah. I don't want to lose fullness and yeah. I love having full hair. Um, Lengthwise, how much are you thinking you want to take off? Uh, right above the nipple. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because it's gotten too long. Oh my gosh. Well, I love the length. I never thought I would hear you say that. Yeah, I know. I love <laughs> I love the length, but I have to put my hair up all the time for work. Okay. So I don't like maybe like a couple inches at most. Not too not too much now. Okay. Like maybe even like, nipple line. I feel like that's like around three or four inches. Really? Yeah. Oh. Which well, then, sounds very scary. Yeah, but like, I'm scared. <laughs> no, it, it, it would be fine. Okay. If anything, we can start like right at boob length Let's and just want to take more because yeah. when we add the face framing in too, it'll make it seem a little bit shorter. Right. Um, but we'll start with that length cut okay. so we don't have to like color everything. Okay. But my biggest thing right now is you're booked for a full. Mm -hmm. Um. And I'm kind of wondering because you want to keep like some contrast here if we should just do a partial to like brighten up the top okay and then just melt it down uh -huh. and then focus on brightening the ends yeah I definitely want the ends brightened for sure um because the where it starts is not super grown out like underneath yeah and I do want to keep a lot of that I just didn't want to like book for two less no I appreciate that coloring and then have it like go longer you know yeah so because it, your color back here starts like it's only this much grown out mm -hmm. around your head. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of like you want the root to come down a little bit a so little we bit can more. brighten it up to like a lot higher up, obviously, yeah. and then just kind of like melt it down. Yeah. To give the illusion of like the lighter base without actually having to shift your base. Yeah. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just like kind of tipping out the ends, which is like we'll just back comb and just really brighten up the ends to give you the contrast yeah. without having to go through and like foil your entire head basically. right yeah. then i think that's the best option okay cool yeah all right let's do it yeah. all right i was feeling the chick-fil-a today we got a lot of foils in so exciting yep yum Jasmine is being a trooper. We lost the power. We got the the leak going the safe on. leaking. It's fine. It's fine. It's but fine. But the hair still looks great. It's yeah. going to look amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So this is the final product. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the wet no, look. It's the, yeah. It's the wet look. Um, the power's... It came back on for like literally one, one minute. Like, yeah. And then it turned back off again. So we're gonna style it tomorrow, but this is the hair. Bright and early. Yes, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna dry it though when I get home so I can see it, but. It'll be so exciting. I know. I'll send you a picture. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll tag you on Instagram. Yeah. I'll let the view, I let the Instagram know like, okay, so this will be like a fun vlog. I mean, it's different <laughs> no. than any other hair transformation. Very different. <laughs> okay, so I am loving my hair so far. It's so pretty. I love like just the darker root with it going like lighter. I just wanted more dark in there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to open my Fabletics package and see what I got. I don't know if I'm going to take this picture today or next weekend or tomorrow. Like, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, that's cute. I like that. That'll look really good with the um, white skirt I got. Also, too, I have the leggings. I think these are leggings. Oh, these are super cute. Okay. I'm going to put this.
this on. This will be a cute little outfit for today. Okay, so this is the outfit. I love it. It looks like a one piece because you can't really like see there's two pieces. And then the leg is really cool because it's like has this um, fishnet thing. So I think I am gonna take pictures in this after she styles my hair and stuff because why not? Anyway, I'm going to get on the road now and hopefully I'll get some good pictures. We'll see. Never a guarantee, but we can always try. Okay, little deja vu, but with new hair, just not styled. I got my coffee. I just went with the big one because I'm like, you know what, why not? Anyway, I love it. It doesn't even matter if it's styled or not. Like, honestly, this is how I'm gonna wear most of my life. So, it looks good like this, but I'm happy that she will style it for me and everything. And then I can take pictures in this, like, outfit. I brought my trusty tripod. I forgot it yesterday, so maybe it was, like, a reason why the power went out. So, we'll have to, like, go back and she can just do it. I was not gonna do makeup, but then I'm like, I'm gonna do makeup because she's gonna do my hair, like why not? So there was a lot of things that I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna shoot this, I don't know if I'm gonna wear makeup, but I'm like, you know what, let's bite the bullet, let's just get it all done, especially because my hair is gonna look super good. I know she's gonna do such a good job, so yeah. I'm sorry that you're, I mean my tripod is like- No, like, you're fine. It's all good. We are back here at Jasmine's yeah. and we're going to style this. Um, she's gonna, probably post like a tutorial or like how she does it on her page. Um, so, Instagram, right? Yeah. It wasn't even recording, shoot. No! All right, so we got the little rolls in and she's gonna take them out. She's gonna do like the reveal on her TikTok, TikTok or Instagram or whatever. Um, so, I'll show you guys after. All right, so this is the hair. It looks so good. I'll like post like more photos and stuff, but I wanted the big like Sabrina Carpenter volume and that's what I got. Okay, so I think I'm just going to end this video here. It was such a crazy experience, but I absolutely love my hair and that's all that matters. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.